ready. This is Ace of Rock Revolt. I'm here with Nick of Orgy. How's it going today? It's going great. How are you, Ace? Doing John? all right. Excellent, excellent. Doing all right. We both had a long journey to get here today to see each other. Yes. Where'd you, you guys came from what, Houston, right? Well, we actually are in Houston tomorrow. Oh, we okay. had a day off yesterday, most needed one. We were in Atlanta the day before. Yeah. Oh shit, so you came from and Atlanta. Like Kentucky the night before, yeah. and then um, they off in Pittsburgh where he wants to see a hockey game, and then Boston oh, prior to that, and then uh, Canada and New York. Are you a big so hockey stuff. fan? I love the Pittsburgh Penguins. Really? That's the only, uh, I mean, I'm in Dallas Stars territory, but it's not like I'm in the Northeast where I'm in Philly territory or Boston territory or... Anywhere in Canada territory, right? Um, yeah. See, yeah. we don't have a pro team in hockey or for hockey in Kansas City. I was you know, the Penguins almost went to Kansas City they did. back in the day. They did. And that was a teaser because we just built a new arena. Yeah. And they're trying to get Penn to stay. That was yeah. all bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, I was all smoking. But I took but I took Jay Jay Gordon and yeah. uh, our tour manager Robin to their first hockey game right on. on Monday, and it was one epic game against the Capitals. Nice, nice. I was, yeah. I am a Dallas Stars fan. Oh, that's all right. I am a Dallas Stars fan, and actually, this hat I'm wearing here, it's a company called Puck Hockey. Oh, cool. They actually hook up with rock and metal bands like Head P.E., they've done Dave Lombardo, and design hockey jerseys for them. Uh, and they sell them. I need to, uh... I can get you guys together. Uh, Carlton, our guitar player, has the best Motorhead, uh... Hockey jersey, really? Yeah, really. Yeah, the I, motorhead on the back. I'm yeah, absolutely yeah. done with this. Let's we'll talk some. Matt, more. listen, watch this interview. I'll make sure you do. We got to talk. Okay, that's right. That's right we'll get you guys hooked up for real. Fantastic. But anyway, so anyways, let's do it. Guys, having some fun doing how we've been doing it. Shit. Yeah, yeah. We can talk about whatever. Okay, it that works for me. People want to hear what you have to say. That works for me. Right on. Um, obviously, uh, new lineup with Jay. Mm -hmm. You're a part of that new lineup with Jay. Yep. How long you been with? A couple years? Were you were uh, yeah, since, since the band reformed. Yeah, uh, I ran into Jay at a Dead Mouse concert of all places in Hollywood, and he asked if I'd be interested in doing this, and I said absolutely. We were acquaintances before, you know. Right. Since then, become uh, good friends and obviously band band mates and everything. Right. So yeah, it's been about, it's been about five years. Really? Yeah. Really? Cool. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know you guys have put out the uh, one EP since then, the uh, Talk Sick EP. Talk Sick, yep. Uh, working on the uh, next one, which is Entropy. Yeah, that's the working title at the moment. Okay. Uh, tonight we will be uh, performing a song off of that. Really? Yeah. Yep. Really? So. It's called Army to Your Party. Right on. And, uh, and it's a backing track. It really is. Happy. it? Yeah. Um, now, are you guys looking to just do an EP on that? You guys no, we're doing, we're doing the full length. Yep. Nice. Yep. Kind of. Uh, Kind of getting everything up and rolling, we have a, building that head of steam. Yeah, we have a lot, um, a lot finished already, but a lot yeah. more to do um, as far as the full length goes. Uh, we were working on that hard before we left for this tour. We're home for a couple weeks. We're not going to probably do too much in that because we had to year up for uh, for a month or so. Right. Right after this tour, basically. Right. That's but as soon as we get back from Europe, we're going to hit it hard um, and uh, throughout the spring, and uh, hopefully, I don't have a date yet, but. Right. Soon, yes. Uh -huh. yeah. Guys, we just talked to the Death Valley High guys, and that's what said you guys are uh, going to be teaming up and heading over to Spain and yeah, all of Europe, Europe, all mm -hmm. kinds of new places. Yeah, uh, all over. How you like it over there, man? You know what? We did a UK tour <coughs> um, about two years ago. Yeah. Or what you did? Um, did Scotland and uh, in England. Nice. And other than that, we've done uh, some South America dates. Yeah. But uh, back in the day, Orgy didn't really tour outside of the United States. So right. there's a lot of un untapped uh, areas as far as first time shows for yeah. all these fans and everything so yeah. really looking forward to it it's gonna be pretty exciting man i mean getting everything going it's kind of a whereas orgy is an older band an established band something that's been around is it it's kind of a new era yeah new well, new sound new style know, it's, uh, the, it's definitely the five mem the five current members like that have been the guys for a while now right. um have found we've figured out how to work with each other in the studio and how we all write and uh, work you know alongside each other right and it's definitely it definitely has the old orgy elements to it but it's definitely got a lot of newer electronic elements to it but with some metal behind it, some trap behind it, some a uh, little like just like the name says, orgy. It's a, a mix of it all. Just an orgy of everything out there. Right yeah. on. It's, it's a good way to spread it. Really excited about it. Right yeah. on. And I mean, yeah. you know, obviously, you know, you had, had the big hit back in the day. Oh yeah. But it's you know 
like you said, it's a newness. It's a new feel. It's just excite, new energy. Yeah. The freshness. Yeah. Um, yeah. You said, like I said, you're going to go see a lot of uh, new faces across, you know, across the pond. Get some new fans. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it's about. Getting out there. It's a the music scene is different than what it was back in the day. Oh yeah. Um, you probably get to spend a little more time with the fans, meet and greet the fans, mm-hmm. talk to people before and after shows. Yeah. It's, it's part of the business. Though. When in, in South America, in Buenos Aires, for example, when we played a club, Emo Mod Club down there, and these kids have been waiting 15 years yeah. to, for a to come down and play. They've been long, like, you know, long-time fans. Right. And it's the first time we get to see them because it's the first time the band's been there. So uh, that's how a lot of these European dates are going to be. Right. And even, even 15 years ago, man, on tours, it's not like it is today. I mean, I, I've been to concerts all my life. It wasn't up until the last few years where I could actually go up and be like, dude, thank you, I appreciate your music. Talk to someone in a band. Back in the day, you couldn't do that. Yeah. No, they weren't. it wasn't approachable. Yeah. It was just a different type of business. Yeah, back, yeah, you absolutely. Know? Yeah. And it's a lot better for the fans. It's a lot better for you guys. Yeah. You know, everybody's like, oh my God, I got to talk to people. Yeah, and they're more appreciative. Yeah, we love to spend time with the fans, yeah. uh, you know, as often as we can. Yeah, sure. do you guys do any meet and greets on the road? Yeah, or? we do meet and greets. Sweet, yeah. absolutely. So you guys got one tonight going on there? Or? I haven't given given the word, and if we do or not, but uh, <laughs> that's my phone on the bus. So <laughs> if we do have one, uh, I'll be there later. Yeah, right yeah, on. exactly. Right um, do you guys do any? So you say you like say so you got the toxic. You guys probably do some stuff off that. You're yep. gonna do the one new song. Yep, tonight. we're gonna play a new song. Uh, there's yeah. a lot of it's more of the older stuff. Or yeah, it's just mainly candy ass and vapor transmission. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. And then uh, a lot off of uh, Toxic, the new one, right. and uh, and then the new one newer song. And since we're doing the co-headline with um, right. Power Man, you know, we rotate nights and okay. who closes and, and everything. And so it kind of we kind of have the even set time. It's not like, like one's longer than the other. It's pretty yeah. much about the same, about an hour, but. Yeah, we'd play a nice mix of, of, of everything. How did you guys decide who started off as the headliner? Then you guys play some like rock. You know what? Yeah. They the started coin. and they yeah. started in Denver, and we yeah. just yeah. like you know, fucking laughing. And and, yeah. and we're getting along so great. You know, yeah. like for example, um, Power Man did a couple of headline nights in a row because Spiders from uh, Haverhill, yeah. Massachusetts, just his hometown, and it's fine. Yeah, of yeah, course you're gonna headline your hometown. Yeah. You know. Yeah. We're not gonna play you on that one, right? You know? Yeah, everybody gets along great on the tour. It's been really smooth. Right, that's what yeah. the guys from uh, Death Valley said. Is it's just yeah. been a, such a good cohesiveness of everybody. Mm-hmm. Uh, shared some gear, had to help each other yeah. out, a yeah. lot of thing. Uh, like I said, what are you guys doing to stay sane on the bus, man? On those drives? You know what? My 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 sanity is going to just a solo dinner table for one. <laughs> you know, just clearing my head on my yeah. own, taking some walks. Uh, but we all get along so great, which is the amazing thing. Yeah. We couldn't do it if we, you know, two bands on bus, and we've right. done this, this is the fourth or fifth tour of that Valley High uh, at this point in time. Right. So if we didn't get along with them, it wouldn't even be possible. Yeah. So believe it or not, it's yeah, we all we all do really well together. All thirteen of us, thirteen of us on the bus. But that's you know that time like I like to go separate. Sure. Get that. Just that alone time, you know. And that's probably what helps you guys get along on the bus, man. Yeah. When it's my time, it's my time. You know? Yeah. So. And then when it's time, you get crawl in your bunk. You can go anytime you want. Right. Yeah. Earplugs. Damn, I said 13, on, 13 on the bus. Shit. Yeah. And a little chihuahua. Nice. Yeah. Nice. He's on every tour. Who's, yeah. who's, who's, Carlton, uh, Carlton, the guitar player's dog. Uh, nice. Leo. So yeah. On every tour since we've been on, yeah. Do you take him overseas with you? Uh, little Cleo, and no, Stacy will stay here. Okay. Yeah, that's just a little too much. It's like a little new mascot won't be with you. Man. I so, know. Yeah. Right, right yeah, on. Yeah. Well, man, um, we're pretty stoked to see and hear the new stuff tonight. We can't wait. Um, anything you want to tell the fans? Let everybody know what's up. Yeah, I mean, just guys. our 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 websites. Um, our website's org official, orgymusic dot com, and then org official is the Facebook and Instagram, you know, and all that stuff. And um, we will be having. All the Europe dates posted on there, and then all the upcoming information for the new album, wow. the release date, and and all that fun stuff, and hopefully some uh, summertime festival stuff that we can announce. Sweet. Soon. So yeah. Right on, man. We're gonna yeah. let you get to it, man. Yeah. We appreciate your time. Thanks, thanks a lot. All right, thanks, sir. Fantastic. Go Penguins. <laughs>